this is Daniel Bender. Um, I'm currently making a video because my dad has challenged me and my brother to make a video every day of the month and for each video we make we get 0 0.0001 Bitcoin which is equal to £3.50 roughly in today's money but obviously over time Bitcoin decreases and increases so I have to make a video every day for the next month and hopefully I can do it it's not really anything special it's just an experiment um, so today I'm just going to talk about what I did today and then give you a little room tour so today I woke up about what time did I wake up 12 I think I woke up about 12 and I sat here and watched a few videos I watched some documentaries um, about I watched some videos that Stacey Dooley had uh, presented. It was a couple documentaries, and they were really good, absolutely amazing. One was about firearms, um, and this person, this this female who had been a housewife for twenty two years, um, and who's her, her husband just walked out after a midlife crisis. Um, so after that, um. This was about the year 2000, 2001, and 9-11 had just happened, and her brother was meant to get on that flight, but he didn't, um, and she's a Trump supporter, and she took it upon herself to end up being an international firearms dealer. So she transported uh, firearms to many different countries, she wanted to export to Saudi Arabia, India. She was exporting to, she had uh, factories in Japan, I think, and China and Russia. So it was, it was, it was global and it was just amazing. It was one of the best, well, not one of the best, but a really, really good documentary. I'd recommend it. Um, another one I watched was um, these homeless people living on the streets of Detroit. Um, and it was really interesting as well. Um, a lot, about 50%, 50 I think it was, of all the homeless people in Detroit were bi, gay, lesbian, or transgender. Um, there's 50% of the homeless people there. And I found out that 70,000 buildings in Detroit were abandoned. It's because the country fell, no, not the country, sorry, the city became bankrupt. I'm not sure how long ago they didn't actually say, but the city became bankrupt and over half of the buildings in Detroit are abandoned. And I just thought it was absolutely crazy because you don't see that. It's, it's not publicised. So it's just like the other side of a city. It's like going to London and London is so, it is made out to be this lovely amazing place with lots of different culture but as soon as you go out 20 30 minutes it's the suburbs there's lots of violence i mean even in central there's lots of knife knife crime but if you go out to the suburbs knife crime just it, it, it is just incredible um so that's what i did and then i went out with my friend hayden and we cycled up high down and then i uh, just went and chilled for a bit High down, there's this, this hill near us, um, and it, it was really good, yeah. And then I came home, and I was muddy, muddy as hell, and so I I washed my hands, got changed, and I made dinner, and it was this turkey apricot bake, um, and it was actually really nice, pretty easy to make as well. The only thing I struggled on, well, not struggled really, but I just wasn't prepared. I had to make bread breadcrumbs at last minute. It just wasn't. It just wasn't the one. Um, but meanwhile, while I was preparing and cook, cooking and preparing, preparing and cooking, that's what he said. I was watching this Ed Hardy documentary by Vice Asia, and if you're interested in clothes, specifically Ed Hardy, I would a hundred percent recommend that to you because. I love Ed Hardy, the brand. I just think his work is amazing. By work, 
before this video, I thought his work was clothes. I thought it was just a clothing brand. But it turns out that Ed Hardy started off as a tattoo artist in the 1970s. He went to Japan because his, his work is majority based on Japanese uh, culture and Japanese inspired pieces. Uh, so he started off as a tattoo artist and he went to Japan and he learned from people there and he kind of saw what people were doing and um, so he started off tattooing. He was one of the first people that did custom tattoos for people because I never knew this but in I watched a documentary before that and it was about uh, the king of tattoos in New York, Brooklyn specifically and he was tattoos used to be illegal um, and when they became legalised or I think before they became legalised people would just do them but the tattoo artists would they would only do specific tattoos for different uh, for everyone so they would have like three main pieces that they do and they just do that for everyone so if you turned up on that day you would you would either get I don't know a cross or you wouldn't get anything at all um, so Ed Hardy was one of the first people to do custom tattoos and I just thought it was it, it was strange to know that people couldn't get what they wanted tattooed on themselves and they had to have a standardized thing um so he started off as that he also he, he went he also did a lot of painting a lot of his I think he started off as a painter then he became a tattoo artist um and then in the 1990s, he started creating, he, he, he brought up his clothing business and became a designer. And a lot of his paintings and artworks and tattoos all transformed onto his clothing brand. Um, so he had tops, hats, jeans, jumpers. Um, a lot of it is so cool. Um, it's a lot of tiger, it's all colourful um the jeans are really one, but I can't afford them at the moment. Um, but I just think the brand, the the history of the brand, how it became to be, was just amazing. Um, and yeah, he he's he stopped he stopped doing public things now, and it's all just personal artwork pieces. So. Yeah, this is this is the video. I know it's not much. Um, uh, it's it's not meant to be anything, but it's just it's just earning me that extra extra. I'm not earning me. It's making giving me an investment in something that is hopefully going to increase over time. So as I say, every day for the next month, I'm going to be making a video. It's not going to be anything specific. It's just gonna be. I think I'm. I'm gonna label it day one as my brother did. But I hope you enjoyed, found this entertaining. I think tomorrow, I might as well just do a room tour because I've got nothing else to do. And I just talk about a few bits and bobs, but I'm not gonna be doing anything specific, as I said. Um, and so yeah, thank you for watching. If you have watched the whole video, uh, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Cheers, bye.